So, good evening everyone. Let us continue on the discussion about crime against national security and law of the nations on flight to enemy's country. So, under Article 121, any person who owing allegiance to the government attempts to flee or to go on enemy country when prohibited by competent authority. So, based on the definition or provision under Article 121 of the Revised Penal Code, who are persons liable? Could be any person who owing allegiance to the government. Say, for example, on the discussion about treason, di ba nag-istorya ta about the Filipino citizen? When we talk about Filipino citizen, unsa nga allegiance ang iyang i-exercise to the government of the Republic of the Philippines? Di ba ningon ko nga? The Filipino citizen should exercise permanent allegiance to the government of the Republic of the Philippines. So, how does allegiance being maintained or exercised by the Filipino citizen? Of course, he has the obligation to maintain fidelity and obedience to the government of the Philippines. So, and when you talk of resident alien, ang resident alien is na siya gitawag na itong temporary allegiance. When you talk of temporary allegiance, once the resident alien is still protected by the law or by the rules and regulation by the Philippine territory, he is still um, or he is required to maintain temporary allegiance to the government of the Philippines. Now, going back to flight to enemy's country. So, any person who owing allegiance to the government, doha nga to ang allegiance, nga to ang i-mention diri, the so-called permanent allegiance and the so-called temporary allegiance. Attempts to flee or to go to enemy's country. Meaning attempt, a mere attempt is pwede na siyang ma-held liable if mo adto siya sa enemy's country or mo 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 sakay na siya or any other say for example mo sakay na siya og air, airplane para mo adto siya sa enemy's country and provided na gibutang diri when prohibited by competent authority now let us proceed so i have mentioned already about persons liable the filipino citizens and alien residing in the philippines elements a war which the philippines not involved meaning Kaya wala may labot, ha? tima niya, na ay war, but the Philippines is not involved. So meaning to say, peace ang Philippine territory during this time, nga lupad ang usa ka tao, or si Filipino citizen, or si resident alien, nga sa enemy's country. Offender owes allegiance to the government. Nag-discuss ta about allegiance, di ba? Kinahanglan, he has, the, or he has the obligation to maintain fidelity and obedience to the government of the Philippines, or to the government, kung diin siya, naka reside Si for example, a Filipino citizen, na siya sa Pilipinas, of course, i-maintain niya ang fidelity and obedience. That is uh, what we call as the permanent allegiance. Nga no ganing natay allegiance to the government, it's because the government provides us protection. The government maintain peace and order for the benefit or for the general general welfare of the people who are living and sojourning within the Philippine territory. Third element, offender attempts to play or to go to the enemy country. So attempts to go or to play, meaning a mere attempt, mere attempt pa mo ato ka sa enemy's country, consummates the felony of flights to enemy's country. And of course, samot na og, makalupad or makalarga na ka to the enemy's country. Going to the enemy country is prohibited by competent authority. It is very important, ha? it is very important to note that such going to enemy's country is prohibited by the Philippine territory. If such uh, flight or if such mere attempt to flight or to play, to enemy's country is not prohibited by the Philippine territory, then Article 121 is not applicable. There must be a prohibition by competent authority. Otherwise, dilin mo pwede apply ang flight to enemy's country. Because it is provided or it is very specific under Article 121 of the Revised Penal Code. I hope you understand to flight to enemy's country. Balik ko na ko sa yun o dali ra kayo sabton ang book to. Unlike sa book 1 nga Imo nga siyang sabton pag maayo. Most uh, especially to the different circumstances when to apply and how you offset those mitigating and aggravating circumstances. While on book to, once you uh, identify or once you memorize or shall we say makahibaw na ka sa different elements in commission of the felony, then dili na ka maglibog. Why? Given naman siya daan sa provision sa balaod. So, muna yung naka-advantage sa book to. I hope you understand uh, about this 
topic on flights to enemy's country. Thank you and God bless us all.